Hi, my name's Sandy. Welcome to my backyard. Um, one of our favorite pastimes is listening to the birds and watching for birds and trying to identify them. We have a number of fabulous books at the Dwight Foster Public Library for helping you to identify the birds in your backyard. Um, we also have many in the children's department as well. And I wanted to just share um, one of the newest ones to our collection, and this is Bird Song for the Curious Naturalists by um, Donald Kruzma. And this is a fabulous um, book, particularly now. It's very difficult to, to see the birds in our um, trees right now because everything is so green and full of leaves but um, we certainly can hear them. I would imagine you can hear them in the background right now. Um, and in this book, there are um, QR codes, which you can then scan with your smartphone. You'll have to download an app to do so. But listening then to the bird song will help you then identify those birds um, and to tell the difference between the different woodpeckers or the songbirds, the sparrow from another type of songbird. And so this is just a wonderful addition to our collection. Um, we also have the book um, Wisconsin Bird Watching by Bill Thompson. And this is um, very helpful too. It tells you which kind of um, bird seed that they uh, birds are attracted to or if they will come to um, a birdhouse, if you should build one and put one out in your own yard and what you can anticipate. Um, there's fabulous photos and just lots of information and it's year-round because this does change with migration what you'll see here in your neighborhood and what remains then in Wisconsin during the winter months so that's another treat um, the children's department has some fabulous books to help you um, teach your children about bird life and this one is from National Geographic Kids and each um, page is uh, got some wonderful little information or fact about the bird that you're observing. For example, how many times the wings beat on a hummingbird and um, the figure eight form of their wings beating 75 times a second. So that's really a, a neat book. Kids will really enjoy that. I've really enjoyed it as well. You're never too old for the um, children's books. Another one in the children's books collection at Dwight Foster Public Library is Wild About Wisconsin Birds. And we have a little time now on our hands. It's summertime and I think get yourself a pair of binoculars or just go in your backyard and see what you can hear and see. And uh, you can find us online at www.fortlibrary.org. We look forward to seeing you.